Hey everyone, Jared from IO updating you on the new iPhone 7. It seems many current and potentially new iPhone users don't seem too pumped about the unveiling of the new iPhone 7, expected to be revealed September 9th. It will also be available to consumers about a week later. The high powered smartphone has been known to revolutionize the handheld device industry, introducing millions of brand new apps, the Apple Music streaming service, and unbelievable cinematic abilities with such a powerful camera. Every time a new iPhone is announced, it seems people are excited about all the new fun features that come along with the new phone. For example, when the iPhone 4 was introduced, many users of the 3GS felt they needed the new shiny upgrade. With a brand new design, retina display, all the internal performance improvements, as well as the HD recording camera. What's there not to love? Then Apple realized a lighter, slimmer model might be the way to go, so they redesigned again. Moving all the way to today, we have the iPhone SE, the latest iPhone from Apple, which includes a 12 MP rear facing camera, a 64 gigabyte storage option, and iOS 9 software, all in the body of an iPhone 5S, suitable for those who want a smaller phone. Now it's time for the iPhone 7, but it seems not everyone is ready to jump on board with the so called upgrade. The iPhone 7 is expected to have more processing power, memory access speeds, graphical capabilities, and operations per second, but that's somewhat become an expected feature of all new iPhones. If it's the newest model out there, it should be the fastest and most powerful, right? One feature that many seem to be extremely unhappy about is the headphone jack, or lack thereof. It seems Apple has decided to go in the direction of having Bluetooth headphones instead of a boring old cord plugging right into the phone itself. Many people see this to be a money grab by Apple, giving new iPhone users a reason to buy Apple made wireless headphones. But some are staying optimistic about the headphones actually coming in the box itself with the new phone. The only benefit Apple may have to releasing their new iPhone is that Samsung's Galaxy Note 7 didn't live up to all it was hoped to be. Amid many rumors, the high powered handheld device seemed to make some consumers happy, while others were expecting much bigger changes. Personally, I'm an iPhone guy, always have been. It's exciting to see what Apple can do moving forward, but I'm not sure if I'm sold on the iPhone 7 just yet. I want you guys to tell me how you feel about all this. Are you an iPhone user or Android? Either way, how do you feel about the release of the new iPhone and what's expected of it? Let me know in the comments below. Check out all my funny pictures on Instagram because my life is so exciting, at Bronze7. Follow IO on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram as well. After doing all that, well, you gotta click more buttons. Subscribe, give us that thumbs up, and check out the videos on the side right over here. I'm Jared, and I'll see you guys soon.